Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're gonna look at some regulators today. These are the line of myth regulators from Gorilla. We've got the three, uh, three regs out here that are pretty much the ones in production right now. We have the M3, P3, and G3. Um, we'll talk about some of the differences on there. The weights are pretty much the same between the, all of them. If we look at the uh, G3, right there, you're four ounces, P3, four ounces, M3, 3.6. This one's a little bit lighter. That's because it does have a brass and aluminum top to it. Um, these two are all brass on the top. You can see right there. And there's a reason for that as well. Um, so the P3 is going to be the all brass top version um, that is a, uh, a 3,000 PSI reg. Now it would be run on tanks like aluminum bottles, anything that's got a 3K fill limit to it, you're gonna see the P3 on that one. And you can always tell, um, cause it's gonna say 3000 PSI on it, or 5K burst disc on one side and 1.8 on the other side. Those are gonna be used for, like I said, your aluminum bottles, something that has a 3000 PSI fill pressure to it or fill capacity. Um, your G3 is the same exact reg, mostly, but this is for the bottles that are a 4,500 fill pressure on them. Uh, you'll see it has a 7.5 burst disc, a 1.8 burst disc, and then it'll be marked on there 4,500 PSI. Now these two have something that is a little bit unique to the top of them, which we'll talk about. Um, and then we have over here our M3. Now this is going to be for a 3,000 PSI output that um, just has a standard top to it. It has the brass top flange but the threading is not brass. So if you ever damage this, you can take it off, replace it, put a new one on, and run your reg. Super simple. Um, they used to make another regulator. You can probably still find them out there. It was the M4.5. Basically, it's this reg, but for the 4,500 PSI bottles. Don't see a lot of those anymore. Basically, we're just seeing them with G3s on them now. All right, so what makes the G3 and the P3 different from the uh, M3 is going to be the brass top. If you've ever had the problem where you thread your bottle into your tank or your bottle into your gun and where it ends up threading in either the fill nipple or the gauge is jamming into your wrist. Okay, you're holding on to your gun but it just lines up so that it's just sticking in there and it's uncomfortable. Well, these regulators give you the ability to change that. You can adjust how the tank lines up on there. So what we'll do is we'll take this one right here. We'll take an Allen key we put it in and we're gonna push down on the post and we're gonna unscrew. We're gonna unthread this off of here. Now you can probably do it a couple times. You have to hold the pin down, but then you get to a point where you can actually unscrew this. Now we do not need to take it all the way off, okay? What we wanna do is we've threaded it up far enough where we can then pull this collar out and we can actually pull the collar out and we can rotate it and then we can set the collar back down. Now, when we go back to screwing our, our regulator into our gun, that's gonna change where this stops. So you can find, figure out if it ends up like this, well, then I'm gonna need to rotate this maybe three notches, drop it back down, put everything back together. I'm gonna hand tighten this one down to where I can't get it anymore. And then I will use the Allen key, tighten it back up. Now, when I rotate this all the way in, hopefully I've rotated it by changing the collar to the point where now it sits like this. So that's the difference in your, going from your uh, P3, G3 to your M3. And you can always tell the difference if the entire top piece of your regulator is brass, then you have the adjustable version. If just the top flange here is brass and the threading is not, it's aluminum, then you have the non-adjustable version, but still it's a great regulator. Um, they're user serviceable, if you have need or have or need parts, you can always contact Tiberius because they take care of Gorilla and uh, they can get you the parts that you need and you can service these regulators yourself. Um, they're super light. They're probably the lightest reg on the market right now and they're easy to work with. So check them out if you're thinking about getting a reg um, because you just need to get a new one. This might be an option for you. They're small, they're lightweight, and they're compact. Um, and they're a great quality regulator. So check them out. Uh, the different line of Gorilla Regs, they're available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.